Hey, what is up guys? My name is Stan and in this video, I wanna show you guys the NZXT H210 Mini ITX case I've got right here. Give you guys a quick look at this case and my thoughts about it. So a couple days ago, I actually built this computer for my parents. Uh, this was a Ryzen 3 very budget productivity build to replace their 12 year old PC that they had in this house. So uh, I chose a small mini ITX case, uh, wasn't planning on spending all that much money. So uh, this is what I ended up with. Now NZXD actually has two versions of this case. They've got the H210i as well as the H210. This is the non-i version. Uh, basically, the only major difference is uh, the i has a little bit more premium features such as RGB lighting, all those things. This is really the stripped down, uh, cheaper version of the two. Now that said, there's still a lot of great features throughout this case that I wanna show you guys. Um, the case is a relatively large mini ITX case, meaning uh, this is not one of those really, really, really small mini ITX cases. In fact, the case size is almost closer to a mid tower. You, you can almost describe this as a small mid tower case, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. It's just something to be aware of. It's not like it's a in case, um, in case was it N1. It gives you a little bit more room to work with and it allows you to have full size GPUs, uh, all in one AIOs, uh, cooling for the CPU, additional fans and whatnot. So uh, let's start at the very front actually and work our way to the back. So the very front is completely solid um, and the way the airflow works is actually you've got cutouts on the side here that allow for air to flow in. Now the front is removable. All you need to do is grab the bottom and pull for it to come off and this will give you access to the fan filters on the very front. Now, if you remove the fan filters, this will actually give you access to the 240 millimeter radiator mount or a fan mount in the front. Now, the construction of the case is basically full steel uh, with a tempered glass side panel and some plastics throughout. So given that the price point of this is sub $100, um, you know, budget mini ITX case that's pretty expected, and I think it's actually not that bad. The build quality is decent. Uh, it's not perfect, but I think it for the price, I think it's actually it's pretty good for what you pay for. Now inside here, you can see I've already got the motherboard already placed in, and it's actually completely built. Um, this is an ASUS B550i uh, gaming motherboard with a. I think it's a Ryzen 3 3200G, so no GPU, just all integrated, um, you know, all in there. So you can see I've actually got a lot of space for the GPU. Now, this can basically fit as big of a GPU, as long of a GPU as you want, because you can have, you know, all the space you want. However, one thing to note is that there are only two PCIe slots on the bottom here, so the GPU cannot be too thick. Um, if you go with like a two and a half uh, slot GPU with extra plastic, then you're gonna be running into an issue with the bottom shroud right here. It's nice that the bottom shroud does have cutouts for holes so that you can potentially be pulling air through it to the GPU. However, mm, make sure that stick with just a regular two slot GPU. Now, as I said, in the front you can have a 240 millimeter AIO radiator or custom cool, custom water cooling if you wish. You certainly do have the, uh, the the depth and the cutout for that to go all the way down to the very top. In the back here, you also have two existing fans that they do supply. So uh, this case is built for two fans in the front, one fan in the top, and one fan in the back. Now, they do not supply the two fans in the front. Um, I opted not to have it just because I didn't see the need for it with such a low power build I've got right here. For SSD storage space, they originally included this SSD mount for you to mount an SSD to the very front here. And also you have SSD mounts in the back here. 
which uh, you have two right here. Additionally, on the bottom here, you can see that you have cutouts for rails, and this allows you to mount three inch, three and a half inch hard drives along with two and a half inch SSDs. And you also have rails for pumps such as uh, DDCs or D5s so that you can mount into the bottom of this case. Um, I really do appreciate the extra thought that NCXD put into the case. You know, like I said, it's not a very expensive case, but they clearly thought out how people are actually gonna be using this case. And the extra rails and extra mounting points are a nice touch. Also at the very bottom, you have a fan filter for the intake for uh, your power supply, if you choose to mount the power supply facing with the fan facing down, so you're gonna be pulling air through the bottom. Uh, this is always really nice because usually this is either on carpet or really close to the ground and you have a lot of dust that will accumulate here. And this fan filter is gonna be preventing all that. What I think one of the best features of this case is actually the built-in cable management of this case. Um, you know, given the low price point, uh, I wasn't really expecting that much, but the inclusion of this plastic bracket you can see here have, allows you to route the cables and tie, zip tie or Velcro tie it down to make sure that it's all neat and tidy. And you also have this rail up here and included um, zip ties to help you route the power supply cables. Now, uh, the power supply that I went with was a semi-modular power supply. so. Uh, it's got these cables that are already kind of already built in. So basically I had to hide some cables all the way down here and the rest of the cables were able to be routed up using these channels up to the top of the motherboard or to the side to access the motherboard. So I really, really do like that feature about this case. On the top here, you've got a very clean interface. You've got just a single power button with a hard drive, white hard drive light indicator around the power button. Uh, you've got a USB 3 type A uh, pass through, and you've also got a USB type C 3.1 gen 2 connector, and then a headphone jack. Now this headphone jack is uh, a triple ring, or it, it's got, it, it's, it's one of those Headphone jacks that can take a splitter here. This is gonna be the headphone and microphone splitter that is actually included uh, part of the case here. So this is, I, I think it's a, called the TRS, the triple ring, the three segments, whatever. Uh, so that's nice to be able to have this um, included as part of the package. Last but not least, you have the tempered side glass window that slots in at the bottom and clips in at the top here. Uh, the strength of the clipping in is actually pretty strong here. So with it clipped in, it's really not gonna go anywhere, but uh, to be extra safe, you have two thumb screws, actually just kidding, one thumb screw on the tempered glass side that you screw in here. On the back side here, you also have a steel uh, back, which has two additional screws where you can screw it in. So overall, it's a very nice little package and for 80 US dollars, at least at the time of filming here, I think this is a very good budget case for your mini ITX build. And also it's something to think about. If you're going mini ITX and you're on a short crop budget, right? Um, going mini ITX can actually save you some money because you end up having not to pay for a very big motherboard and you only, basically buy what you need. So a graphics card, a CPU, a little teeny tiny motherboard can actually save you some money. And this case right here allows you to stick with that mini ITX form factor, but also give you space again for your uh, all-in-one um, AIO, your additional fans and a full size GPU. So if you're in the market, definitely take a look at that. I'll make sure to link this in the description down below for you guys to check out. And if you have any comments, questions, or you have uh, actually built in this computer and your thoughts about this, or built in this case and your thoughts about this, make sure to comment down below. I'll be out on the lookout for those comments. Anyway, my name is Stan. I'll see you guys in the next one.